Hey folks, JD here, and on this blustery day, I give you this. This is the Holy Stone Bolt Beam, and it is an entry-level little racer. We have four coreless brushed motors, we have a large battery that sits at the back that should give us between five and seven minutes of flight. We have an incredible speed of up to 30 miles an hour, or 31 miles an hour rather, 50 kilometers per hour. I'm hoping this is everything that I've heard it to be. And this is it. It's not large, it's not heavy, it is small, it's very nimble, and it has, hopefully, got a very, very high powered setting. So I thought I would put it to the test. And today, with these up to 11 mile an hour gusts, I thought I would bring it out and see exactly what it can do. So, let's get it on the mat, let's get it calibrated. Okay, so to begin with, let's plug this battery in. These batteries are not the easiest thing to get out. Uh, also, as part of the pre-flight checks, what I've done is I've gone through and I have heard that these particular propellers, even though they're pushing, they're not the best. If you're if you're going to come down with a thump, they are going to come off. So, I've pushed them down as hard as I can. I've used a little propeller tool, just to ensure that we have actually pushed them home. So with this, the on button is at the bottom. So let's turn her on. Let's leave her start her calibration process. Single one up and one down to bind. Lights flash very erratically, and then they just go into... Oh, mm, that's still flashing. Okay, that's a bit strange, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt, and let's see if that is actually the main thing, that it, the main uh, sequence. Let's see if I can just... Oh, no, there we are. Didn't seem to bind the first time. Okay, fine. Now the LEDs are solid. This is more like what we're used to, solid LEDs. So let's see if we can calibrate these gyros. There we are. So it's down and to the left until you hear a beep and then it should be all nice and calibrated so with that my friends let's take her up okay here we are so we have five different types of speed modes or five speed modes we have going forward so what i've done is i've just ranked the wheel up as far as i possibly can we're now in fifth <laughs> okay so we have got a blustery day I could have chosen a normal day to come out and, and fly this, but I wanted to really kind of put it through its paces a little bit and see exactly how this does. Now in fifth speed, which is what we currently are, oh, those LEDs are bright. Oh, that's nice. Nice little bit of power out of those little coreless motors there. Oh, fair play, she's holding her own really well. Now this wind is coming in directly from in front of me here. And let's bring her down a bit. And it is gusting up to 11 miles an hour. And for any other quad, I would have said, no, no way. I've got a 10 mile an hour limit and I stick to that. But for this little guy, I thought I would bring him out and see exactly how he does. Now, because he's in fifth speed, he is going to, uh, the battery is going to deplete within about the five minute mark. So I'm going to hopefully get a good little bit of flying in before that. So I'm just waiting for this wind to die down and then we're going to have a little look at these flips. But so far, he's doing remarkably well. And we've got bright LEDs, bright blue LEDs at the front. And they are bright. They are very bright. And he twists and he turns and he yaws and he rolls without any problem. Okay, flip. No flip? Oh, got to be standing still then, my friend. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, that was a forward flip. <laughs> right, let's fly into this wind a little bit. Let's bring her back, bring her back around. And fair play, this thing is a little screamer. I did not expect that. And I have five speed modes, and these speed modes are most definitely a lot quicker than what you start. You normally get with your one, one to three. And he is half it. Look at him go. In any direction I want to fly him, he is having no trouble in cutting through any of this breeze. Now the wind has died down sufficiently compared to the little gusting breeze that we had a little while ago. But still, this guy, no problem. Wow, I'm really quite shocked. I had, I had really thought that I was going to turn around and say, folks, sorry I can't carry on with this, this is a little bit too dangerous. But he is quite good. Oh. Is that the battery? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that is the battery. Okay, very, very, very short flight on fifth speed mode, but this is what we come to expect. 
I have got a second battery with me, so I'm going to be switching that over and I'm going to be taking him back up. Oh, look at how quick he turns, though. Turns on a sixpence, absolutely. Okay, let's bring him down a little bit. Will he still flip in battery mode, I wonder? Probably not. Oh, listen to that. And he is, look at him. He's really good at holding his own. Really good at holding his own. Now I want to see how long this battery lasts on low battery warning until the quad dies. Fair play though. Now, obviously because of this short battery life, because we are in speed mode five, I want to do a proper test of what this is going to be like in a proper setting on a nice still day. So I'm probably going to be doing a nice little indoor test as well, just to see how this does. Uh, and just to actually get some sort of an idea of how long these batteries will last. I had been warned about the, about the, the battery life and you do get two batteries and this is probably why you get two batteries is because of that battery life being so short but it feels nice in the air it's easy to control non-altitude hold as i said in the unboxing but that doesn't matter i like quads without altitude hold it can really improve your your skills as a as a remote pilot to not have altitude hold and not rely on that barometer all the time but look at this just so nice when he turns just so so nice bit of yaw bit of roll up bring him down again across the other way he's not shaking he is stable <laughs> yeah i'm very very surprised but this battery warning is going on forever and a day whoa ah now look at that as i said at the start of the video as soon as you come down the propellers are going to come off and that's exactly what's happened there so let's just tighten these back up we're still on a low battery warning so i'm not going to stop him just yet i'm not going to replace that battery i'm going to take him back up and i'm going to see how long this battery warning goes because it could be that we have a uh, the standard two to three minute warning and i really want to see what the what we what else we can get out of this little quad but it feels right. This really does. It feels good. Really does feel good. And it's moving well. And that fifth speed mode, let's bring him down into, into speed mode four. See if we can eke a couple of more seconds out of that battery. Oh, yes. Very good. Now this quad also goes by the name the Heliway, I think in the States. Um, obviously, as you know, loads of quads go by loads of different names. But I'm really shocked at how well this is, this is piloting, how well this is flying. I really am. I did not expect that. And with, now this is speed mode four. I can feel the wind coming up a little bit now from in front of me. I may have to, I'm gonna be on the safe side. I'm gonna crank this up. Ooh, see that there? That little seagull? Maybe once a bit of my quad. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to just keep an eye on that seagull because I haven't had any problems with birds before but still I don't want to damage or hurt that seagull at the same time right bring him back around nice little circle let's make him look like a non eating thing this beeps really getting annoying now uh, but still I'm finding this up oh, and that's it no power no power no power and we're down right let's knock off that transmitter because that's very annoying right there we are so that battery life is actually i was in i was flat out from word go in speed mode five here's your your speed uh, roller as we went through in the unboxing quite literally every single time you roll this you get a click beep 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 until it gets into speed mode five and i had that cranked up from the go from from word go and took off in speed mode five flew around in speed mode five and i found that it was very very good now battery life yes the all all-encompassing question how good was battery life not very with these quads they're never going to be 
such as your small brushless rotor racers the reason why you get so many batteries in the pack is because the manufacturer has turned around and said or they've acknowledged that the battery life isn't great using that particular battery in those particular cells same for this i don't think the battery life is very good now what overtakes that is the fact that this particular quad is very very easy to pilot it's very very easy to throw around left and right you have pretty good distance i took a quite far considering this is quite a, a heavy breeze we've got here today flew around without any problems whatsoever i at no point did i think oh god i'm gonna lose this a better throttle up you know 100 percent. the throttle was between 40 and 60 and it flew around perfectly, really, really nicely. That battery life it did harbour it, did hurt it a bit, but I've got another battery to go in here, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to take her up for another flight as well, this time with a little camera on top, see if we can get a little bit of FPV. Um, all in all, though, I really enjoyed. I thought this was a great recommendation. Thank you ever so much, Southport Drones, for the recommendation there. I thought it was a very, very good quad. But that battery life, that really is annoying me. That battery life isn't good. Uh, but you do get two. You can buy more. I think I'm going to buy another pack just so I can keep on using this guy because I really want to. So I'm going to buy an accessory pack for this, folks, and I'll, I'll let you know exactly how much that costs and where we can get it from. But again, not great battery life. But all in all, a great, great flyer. There we are, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.